Hi gang, welcome back to Waxing On. It's Wednesday and that means classic rock. Today we're looking at an album from 1977, 70s Supergroup, and this was a mega, mega group. Um, classic hits. We're going to look at their sixth album from 1977, and it's called News of the World. Yes, it's Queen. Now, I have to admit, I was aware of Queen for quite a while. I mean, obviously they got a lot of airplay on the radio. I never really bought a lot of Queen albums. Uh, this one, uh, you see fancy artwork on the front. I'm just going to turn it over a little bit more here, which continues on to the back cover. And gate folds, so you know we got something neat inside. What's it? Why, it's more artwork. Continues on. And you know, I usually say, boy, the great thing about albums is there's lots of information. Not a lot on the outside of this one, but instead of the usual blank record sleeve, we do have a printed sleeve inside. Um, you see we've got a picture of the band down below. We've got lyrics. We've got information on who wrote the songs and who was playing on this album. Now, of course, Freddie Mercury, Brian May. I mean, we've got Mercury on uh, vocals and piano, May on guitar. Uh, also playing on this album, we have uh, John Deacon on bass and Roger Taylor on drums. So, uh, four-man group. Um, I'll give you an idea what the songs are, and I'll just talk to you about what that is. So, I'm going to do side two first, and you'll know why in a minute. Uh, side two, we got songs by Mercury and May, May, uh, Deacon. Self-written tunes for most of the album here, if not all of it. Uh, we start off with Get Down, Make Love, Sleeping on the Sidewalk, Who Needs You, It's Late, and wrapping up with My Melancholy Blues by Freddie Mercury. Side one, and here's where I got into a problem with it, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Number one cut, We Will Rock You. Monster hit. I mean, who has not heard this? You go to any games at the stadiums, I go to hockey games, they're always doing this song. We're clapping, we're stomping, we're singing along. I mean, it's a mainstay of sporting events. Also following that, we are the champions. Yeah, that one shows up a lot too. I mean, these have to be, well, along with Bohemian Rhapsody, probably two of the most recognizable Queen songs. Uh, next song, Sheer Heart Attack, uh, All Dead, All Dead, yeah, Spread Your Wings, and finishing off side one, we've got Fight From Inside. Now, we got two, two monster hits, and this is where my problem comes up a little bit. And no slam on Queen, right? This is more about radio play and psychology and personal habits. Uh, 77, yeah, we were still listening to a lot of radio, a lot of FM, and these longer songs got a lot of play. So I'm getting into the habit. I'm hearing, you know, we will rock you. I'm hearing we are the champions. When I get the album... And those are the first two cuts I start out with. By the time I get to cut three and four, I'm thinking I just want to go back and hear those hits again. I'm not giving it a fair shake. Uh, I've talked about albums by uh, performers like Dan Morrison, John Mayle, uh, Delbert McClinton, people who get literally no airplay. And you get to discover the album right from the get-go. You listen to 12 new tracks that you have no idea about, and you decide which ones you like and which ones you don't like and which ones really resonate with you. Uh, because of the airplay, and this happened a lot in the 60s as well, when you had hits on an album and then a lot of filler. It's not necessarily happening here, but you're getting the hits that are kind of already pre-programmed into your brain. And when you hear them and you move on to something that's brand new, you just want to go back to the familiar tunes. And again, that's no slam on Queen. That's just, I think, the way, well, the way I'm built in the, the listening that, yeah, I want that. So... Sometimes I have more fun with an album I've never heard songs from. Now, then we get back to the streaming network. Sure, there's options here that are great, and I often slam streaming networks. I'm sorry about that because I say you don't get all the extras. Nowadays, you are getting a few extras. This album, digitally remastered, extra songs, live tracks. I mean, there's some neat stuff that we didn't have when the album came out. When the album came out, it was what it was, and that's what we got. But we do have options now. And... Streaming Network provides that as well as giving us access to the whole catalog. So if I want to go back and discover some of the albums before the hits or maybe they didn't get as much airplay on some of those songs, 
yeah, it gives me the chance to do it with a fresh set of ears, listen to the whole song, and really appreciate what's going on. I also found this. Uh, I mentioned during the Chicago show that they had songs that were edited or produced for radio airplay, which were substantially different from what was on the album. When I listened to Chicago albums um, and forgot about what was popular on the radio, it was a whole different band I was listening to. It was a whole different style of music, the performances. Radio play didn't really give me a good idea of what this band could do, and I really enjoyed the albums for that reason. So this one, excellent album, real piece of classic rock, two monster hits, and again, the only problem I had with it was they were stuck in here. It was hard to give the rest of the album a fair shake, but I'm looking forward to going back and checking out uh, the remixes, see how they sound, as well as those extra tracks that had some live performances. So today's album, Queen News of the World, 1977. Check it out. Give you something to help you get through the rest of the week, and we'll see you on Friday. Now, Friday, uh, I had an album, well, not an album, it was a cassette. And if you've watched the show for a while, you know I've lost track of my cassettes. They're in a box somewhere. I haven't found them. But somebody I was selling the other day dropped off a CD copy of one of the cassettes I had. And I'll tell you, I find this one a lot of fun. Great tunes to head into the weekend with. Put a smile on your face. Check back Friday. We'll talk about it then. Everybody have a great rest of your week. Take care. Stay safe. See you on Friday.